بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, cancer is an illness and Allah Azza wa Jal did not create an illness without creating a cure to it as the Prophet had told us alayhi salatu wasalam alimahu man alima those who know it will know it and those who do not will not know it and we know that the plague which is an epidemic is the evil eye and the stabbing of our brethren from the jinn so there is nothing to prevent cancer from being an affliction of evil eye which is most likely a result of a trauma a woman's husband gets married and she knows about it a few weeks later she gets cancer i know a lot of similar cases it can be any of this how is it to be treated there is physical and there is sentimental or uh, uh, spiritual the spiritual part is the ruqya surah al-fatiha ayat al-kursi the last two ayahs of surah al-baqarah al-mu'awwadhat the last three quls zamzam water alongside with cupping alongside with uh, seven dates of ajwa all of these things that came in habba sauda you try everything and take it the physical aspect people say chemotherapy people say by oxygen people say by special medication i have a friend he's getting an injection or a, a pill i think or an injection that costs 128000 riyals he was with me last week 128000 and this this is the price in saudi yani how many kg kds 120 kd 120 uh, no 12 12000 12000 dinars for one injection and elsewhere they sell it for i think a thousand uh, uh, dinar look at it. it's a business now i know for certain out of experience that cancer can be cured with the grace of allah azza wa jal through the mixing of camel's milk with camel's urine the hadith of consuming camel's milk with camel's urine is mentioned in sahih al-bukhari when a group of the tribe of uraniyin came to the prophet islam accepted islam and gave the pledge of allegiance and all of a sudden they fell ill so the prophet told them to come out of medina go to the herd of sadaqa of camels and drink ordered him ordered them to drink from its urine and its milk few days they became fit but they apostatized and turned their back to islam so they killed the shepherd took the herds of sadaqa and ran away the point is that this is the instruction of the Prophet ﷺ. Now my personal experience is that 20 years ago I had a friend who was 5 years older than me. He used to teach chemistry. I happened to see him a few years back after a gap of 10-12 years and I saw him and he changed He's Palestinian originally. MashaAllah, his beard is this big and it became white wearing Saudi dress with igal and yani, completely transformed. And I said, MashaAllah, how are you? And he said, Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. What's, what, what had happened to you? He said, well, I got intestines cancer. And they operated me, uh, uh, on me and they cut a big portion of it and I had this uh, medications and they said it's too late khalas you're dead so what did you do 
He said, I heard of a professor in uh, uh, the College of, of, of Pharmacy. It's not an issue, pharmaceutical college. or what's the name of the English? Pharmacology, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, this professor happens to be a far-in-law of my brother. Her name is, I don't know, Khurshid. Uh, something Khurshid. I, it will come to me. And this professor in King Abdelaziz College came with so many researches of the benefit of urine mixed with the camel uh, milk in certain percentages that cures. He said, I got in contact with her and she told me, it's almost a bottle cap of urine compared to a liter of or a liter and a half of milk. You mix it up and you drink it. And he said, I tried that for five months. Halas, it was hopeless for me. I'm taking it from the horse's mouth. The guy is standing in front of me. And I said, how did it taste? He said, in the beginning, it wasn't that good. But after a few days, it's milk. And I started taking it fresh. Outside of Jeddah, if you go to Medina, there are always camels and Sudanese uh, uh, taking care of it. And they sell it very cheap. And after five months, I went back to the doctor. I did the tests. The doctor was shocked. He said, what did you do? There's not a trace of any cancerous cell in your body. I told him I did this. This is impossible. No way. This cannot be. And I said, how long this was? It's about two and a half, three years ago. So nothing, it never came back. He said, look at me. And I'm still consuming it every single day. For I believe that this is the hadith of the Prophet in Bukhari. And if you have cancer, you're dead. So might as well believe and drink something of the medication of the Prophet and insha'Allah, they will be cured. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. Sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala abdihi wa rasulihi nabiyina Muhammad.